1985, then British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher famously stated that terrorists need the oxygen of publicity to survive. This dependency on the oxygen of publicity and media coverage not only applies to just terrorist organizations, but also to most other non-state armed groups, such as insurgents, resistance fighters, and guerrillas. Not just today, but also in the past. But even though the need for the oxygen of publicity seems to hold for most non-state armed groups across time, there is a sense today that something has fundamentally changed from the past. And to get a better sense of what has changed, we caught up in Washington DC with Peter Bergen, who not only produced Osama bin Laden's first ever television interview, but who also is considered one of the world's most eminent experts on media and terrorism. And there's one question I had in mind. What is the most profound change that the advent of digital media technology has had on non-state armed groups? In the past, terrorists controlled the attack, but not the coverage of the attack, and not the way that the coverage was then distributed. Today, we now see you know, an ISIS-inspired uh, militant in Paris killing a police officer and his partner and broadcasting the attack on Facebook in real time. So that means that he conducts the attack, he produces the coverage of the attack, and he also controls the distribution of the attack. This is, I think, quite new. Uh, because, for a start, it means that traditional media is almost irrelevant to some degree. And secondarily, the terrorists have basically merged with the media. They are the media. That's the big change.